It's right down here, sir. Thank you. Hey, Jim, how's it going? Mm, not bad. Poor Jim. He was let go last Wednesday. Here we are, room 108. All right. Come on in. Let me show you around here. Well, the door is behind you there, and um, this is the kitchen area. You got your dining room table here. Refrigerator, sink, oven over here. In here, we have the bedroom. So, Luke, what made you decide to move here? Well, I decided I should be closer to my office building. It's right around the corner from here. The attorney's office, correct? I bet that pays pretty well. It does pay a pretty penny. Well, the bed is right here. This is a pretty fancy necklace you got here. What is a man like you doing with female jewelry? It belonged to my wife. I keep it to remember her by. I see. Well, I wouldn't want to misplace that. It looks pretty valuable in ways besides sentimental. The bathroom is right through there. Where is the bathroom? Oh, uh, sorry. Right through here. Closet is right here. Okay, okay. And if you come back out here... Wayne? Yes, sir? Just wondering, how did you know where I was moving from? And where I work? I don't remember mentioning either before. It was mentioned in your paperwork when you became one of my tenants. Ah, uh, well that makes sense. And unfortunately, unlike your previous neighborhood, the people here aren't always as, uh, trustworthy. So I try to learn all I can about each person on top of that. I was aware of that when I signed the lease. But I suspect the convenience of being closer to work will make it worthwhile. And here you have your living room. TV's right here. To your right is your couch, and to your left is the kitchen. Thank you, sir. No problem. Anything else I can do for you? Not that I can think of at the moment. I appreciate the tour. Of course. Looks like the movers got all your stuff, so you're all set there. You need some help unpacking it all? My daughter's coming over this weekend to help me. I can manage till then. All right. Well, here are your keys. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Do you mind if I ask, um, when did you lose your... I lose my sight? Yeah. 16 years ago. Sorry to hear that. Ah, oh, well, can't change it, but I've learned how to get by. Might say I've learned to look on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, have a great rest of your day, and let me know if you need anything. Here, Kane. Come here. How do you like it, buddy? Just you. Go back to sleep. Let's go, Kane. Hey, Luke. Oh, hey. Shelly, how are you doing? Not too bad. How's the new apartment? Great, great. Well, last night was my first night there, so we'll see, but so far I really like it. 
Oh, well that's good. Yeah, yeah. Who's breathing so hard? Did I leave the door open or closed? close. Must be losing it or something. I gotta go back to sleep. Let's go, Kane. Morning, Luke. Second night any better than the first? Yeah, well, I guess I'm still getting used to it. The building just makes noises sometimes. It's probably just because it's an older structure, though. Yeah, you're probably right. I hope tonight is better for you. Me too, Shelly. Huh. 
Hello? Who's there? What's going on in here? Hey! Who is it? It's Wayne. One moment. Hey, so from what I heard, Jim's gonna be prosecuted accordingly. Yeah, I heard so too. How's your head doing? Much better. I'll be alright. I'm so sorry this happened. I can't help but feel responsible. I think Jim must have overheard us talking the other day from his apartment about your wife's necklace and your impairment. And he was dirt poor after he lost his job. I guess he wanted the necklace so he could pawn it off for rent. But thanks to you, he didn't get very far. It wasn't your fault. I should have locked the door and let you know as soon as I suspected something. Are you sure you're gonna be all right? Yeah, I think so. My daughter's coming over tonight to help me unpack the rest of my things. Ah, right, well, let me know if you need anything. Thanks for everything, Wayne. No problem. I'll see you around, Luke. Here, boy. Good boy.